Hi, I'm Austin. And I'm Dan. And we're here to play games. Very badly. Yes, as I'm sure you've seen. And welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. Uh, we are currently... Yes. We are currently in Valua, um, in the lower city, the slums. Last time we ran into Marco, who had given up on life, but Vice, with his protagonist energy, decided that he was going to encourage Marco to come along to the call scene with us, where we go to rescue Captain Dad. Yes, we have to keep Captain Dad from being executed and save a poor kid along the way. Yes. Because we're the protagonist. Protagonist. Okay, so you can get a new weapon for Drachma down here from one of the enemies. Like a random drop? Yeah. Interesting. It's called, it's called the Mace Hand. Uh, oh. Say. I think I remember that one. Mm-hmm. All right, what kind of colors we got down here? Let's see. We got all the purples and one green. Which means red again is my friend. Yeah, red is just very strong. Blue is also okay, looks like. So we'll just leave things as they are for now. Yeah, so red would be very strong against the purples and the blue. Right. Blue would be good against uh, reds if we have them here. Oh, yeah, you're right. I'm just misreading the chart. Yeah, there's a nice little elemental chart we're referencing for this. Um, but red is effective against any of the elements we have currently that are not red. So it's effective against green, purple, and blue. It makes Alpha Storm extremely good. But Drachma is just very strong, so, you know, <laughs> just obliterate things with his hook hand there. Nope. I like that sword. It's a cool sword. It is cool. Serves I'm right. Serves I'm right. That's right. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the mace hand, if we can get it, uh, has got very high attack power, but it has very low accuracy. But his tackle super move can't miss. So oh, it might be yeah. A, yeah, it might be a good thing for the boss fight. Can use uh, gross. You wanted to walk around in sewage, right? I mean, yeah, of course. I love sewage. <laughs> it's my favorite. It's the best part about Dark Souls is the sewage levels. Yes, this is the sewer level. Who made this game? Miyazaki? Oh... <laughs> uh. You didn't even get the rusted iron ring, did you? Ooh, a yellow spell here. This is the first glimpse, I think, of the yellow seal, which has five yeah. uh, on it. I believe you're right. Look at that. There we go. Got that. And the hook all it span, it span. It spun around. Yes. He has the real hook shot. That's them spanning hook shots. What? Don't mind me. I can words, probably. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, you know, okay, if, we, yeah. if we didn't want to record so late at night, maybe it wouldn't be such a problem. Oh, you sweet, know, a Moonberry. Wow. Is that a random drop? I don't That's... honestly know. I need this camera to rotate for me. Come on now. Nah. I, I'm just uh, gonna do the real. <laughs> the real boss of the catacombs is the camera. Oh, there we go. Okay. Whew. Perfect. Um. So the mind stealer enemy has a chance of dropping a mace hand. By the way. Oh. Okay. Crunch him. Yes. Yeah, Alpha this, Storm this is such a strong fire. skill early in game. Right, you're encountering a lot of enemies that are weak to red early game. Red does drop off a lot. 
later on, but it's still pretty good. Yeah, I really do need to start including some purple in our lineup here, I think. Yeah, probably um, want to level up the ice skills just to have them handy. Yeah, especially for what about mid-game stuff, I think. Mm-hmm. There is a place for it, but purple's main use is to fight against red. Uh, blue could technically do it as well. Um, so purple is only good against red, and it is weak against all of the other first four elements. So green, purple, and blue, it is weak against. Mm -hmm. So it probably has the weakest profile, uh, unfortunately. Uh, even blue is better. Blue is strong against two elements. Uh, but still, it is good to level up all of these. Hey, there he is. Yep. Maybe he'll drop it for you. Uh, yeah, this is the value ring we got earlier, too. Ah, yes. Them yeah. weapon upgrades. I'd like to get Micah's green up one more level for Sakri, mm -hmm. so we can have Sakris at least. Before yes. I start switching off of that. Yeah, that's not the heal-all. I think that's Sakram. Yeah, it is, but... It's a better heal than Sakri. Yep. What is it, a thousand? I think so, yeah. And then Sacrum is the... Basically your mega potion. Um, yeah, one thousand all. And then Sacrulin is the heal all. Or not heal all, but the full HP to a single target. Yeah, it's like an X potion. Yeah. <clears throat> Or, or cover <laughs> command. Uh, if you're familiar with Final Fantasy VIII, the recover command uh, from Final Fantasy VIII recovers all HP. Oh, yeah. Oh, do we have enough moonberries? I don't know. Or spirit charge. Ah, oh, yeah, we do. Heck yeah. yeah. Yeah, so that does, um, if you want to read the description real quick, I think that that does a double. I'm not quite remembering is the problem. Yeah, okay. Double his spirit points. So it's defense, and it is focus times two, I believe. Yeah, it ends up being really handy. Yeah, I think it's the only super move that doesn't cost SP because it recovers SP. Yeah. Um, so if you need to... Go ahead and go east here. Okay. Yeah. There should be something down this fork. That's what I thought, but I couldn't remember if this was the one that went forward or... So I feel like there's yeah. like one where there's a junction and you actually have to turn to move forward. Yeah, there'll be some chests hey, down look, here. There's some red right here. Look at that. Excellent. All right. Um, Maybe you can swap somebody to purple uh, yeah, and we'll smack we'll them. Do, that. We'll do some smack it a smack. I think this is the first time we've used purple. I believe that's correct. <laughs> uh, here, we'll do this too. So here we, we go. Expedited move. So, we focused up three that time. Yep. Comes yeah. much more effective later game. It's good to have. That's interesting because three, half of that would be 1.5. Probably rounds so up. There's, yeah, rounding up that's going on, probably. <laughs> or, hmm, I'm going to look up that move now. I'm going <laughs> to make sure we're understanding it correctly here. Um, okay, but yeah, Spirit Charge. Yeah, is another class three uh, expedited move, along with Delta Shield and Counter Strike. Um, so we have three of those now. Well, technically four, because guard is an expedited class right. three. Right. Oh no, he's defending. <laughs> How defendy of him. I know. Those mind stealers are weird. That was easy. And they're kind of like. Mind flare esque enemies. Yeah. A little odd. Yo, Quicka. Blue. That's a good one to have. No drop from them, unfortunately. It's no. a pretty rare drop, though. Yeah, I vaguely remember getting it once or twice, maybe. 
Yeah, there are two places where you can get uh, the Mace Hand, and obviously the sooner we get it, uh, the better. Um, but it is by no means Drachma's best weapon, so it's not catastrophic if you end up not getting it here. Right. It's nice. Um, it's nice for boss fights, but you don't want to have it equipped on him in random combat when you're just attacking because he'll miss half the time. Right. Actually... Back, back to red. To red. Yep. I'm gonna do... See if I can't get tackle charged up here. That would be great. Mr. Tank Man. He's good like that. He is. Um, what I was going to point out, because I forgot about it, we haven't really talked about it, but the minimap is um, not really unique necessarily, but I do like the way they handle it in this game. Um, it progressively reveals the map as you run forward. So it kind of mm. lets you know where you've been. Um, yeah. Useful so you don't end up backtracking all over the place. Right, because like even with the shrine, uh, we saw that we had a map, but it still lit up the places that we were exploring, so we knew where we had been. And tackle. It does yeah. a lot of damage. Yeah, as you can see, very hard hitting move. Um, I think currently it hits harder than Cutlass Fury. Oh yeah, easily. Yeah, especially with the level difference here. Uh, yeah, very good. Hey, another Moonberry. Fantastic. I'll take it. Those yeah. are awesome to have. So yeah, you yeah. can see the path we've taken. Yeah, so with regards to Moonberries, don't be shy about learning the moves uh, that you want here. All right, I go straight here, right? This time, continue south. Yep, go ahead and head south. Do, 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 do. More enemies. Another Maze Hand chance, perhaps? There's yep. There's plenty of them. All right. Uh, Alpha Storm M. Get to attack that. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Those sword waves. I know it's not true, but sometimes it feels like the range attacks are more powerful than the up close mm. ones. I think they uh, they hit in kind of a satisfying way. Yeah, it's probably true. Oh, but that was nice. <laughs> that was pretty shiny. It was. That was easy. Glimmer. Yeah. The. <laughs> okay. There you go. He's been uh, close to learning um, like green and blue for a little bit. So it's there we go. Assassin blade. Yeah. So that's going to be a better weapon for Vice. Yep, and we also picked up heavy armor. That's what, 13 more? Yeah, it's very good. Uh, yeah. Which uh, he can equip, yeah, that's quite a bit better. Yeah, very good, unless you have the uh, flame mantle. Did we pick that up from Doc yet? No, I don't think, I don't think we picked up enough Moonfish. Okay. Um... So that'll be good. That's very good. You always want to have Vice with kind of the best armor. He's, he's sort of the best all around uh, due to his utility and his offensive potential. Right. Oh, yeah. I remember this weapon. This is a cool weapon. I like this one. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's, that's mean looking. <laughs> it, it is. Almost looks like an assassin might use it. Hmm. Where did you get that idea? I don't know. Just kind of came to me. How do you come up with these things? I'm, you know, I'm pretty creative. Hmm, that's pretty, true. Pretty magical. <laughs> hey, you better back off. That's right. Alpha Storm. Yeah, three of them. Weird parasite creature. Don't let him steal your mind. 
they do have a, a skill, I think, that can be pretty potent. If they ever get it off. I'm trying to remember what it is, though. Yeah, I do not recall. It's, we're still pretty early, so there's nothing that's too insane this early on. Right. Uh, let's see. Let me take a look at my magicians here. All right, we got Sacri Pyre. Magicians. Webley. He's got Ingram, which is good. Oh, she already has Sacris. That's... I'm losing my mind. All right, cool. And she has Ingram. Might be good to get her quick... Uh, yeah, that's just what I was board. thinking. Yeah. Let's get Crystal. Yeah, so let's go ahead and change her equipment to the blue. Blue it is. Yeah. We'll, we'll have green for a while on some other stuff too, but... Yeah, with uh, Drachma staying on blue as well, we may want to swap him in battle. Oh yeah, good idea. Um, put him on purple. Yeah. This is like a crazy hallway. Don't fall off! I know, right? What would even happen if you fell off? You just... It's like falling off of uh, Cloud City, you know? You just kind of fall into the atmosphere. Yeah, I mean, I, would, I wouldn't I would even know. I wouldn't even know. <laughs> Who would know? Uh... There's a treasure? No, that's a column. It is a uh, column. But... I thought it was a treasure chest, too. Look, a save point. You know what that means means it's time to save our game exactly what else could it possibly mean in a jrpg that there's a save point here <laughs> well, it cuts cut scenes bosses and just save your game because please <laughs> careful <sighs> yeah we are coming up on a boss here oh this guy scattered bones of its victims yeah here we go gelatinous cube of death Bliga. What is he? He's green. Okay. Yep. So pretty good with uh, red on this guy. Um, you are going to want Inkrim, I believe, on Vice here. Uh, okay. Or on Drachma to use Tackle. Red Tackle. Yeah, actually, I think I prefer to do that. Get there her to go. focus. And we'll change his to red for this Although, fight. Although, spirit charge may also be good. Uh, that probably half half one, you know, like... Hey, wait, what is it? Six of one, half dozen of the other? Something like that, yeah. yeah but yeah. if they're, if she's focusing and he spirit charges, uh, we'll get we'll get some good um, build up. Yeah, even with Ingram here. Drachma is going to hit very hard with this one. Yup. Apparently so will Blinkock. Oh, no. Yeah, he can poison the party with his regular attacks. So this is, I think, the first time we've been inflicted with a status effect. Uh, obviously not much to say, because poison is a pretty normal RPG. Um, Go ahead yeah, and top have... her off just to be on the safe side. Yeah, we do have a Curia Crystal, but we may want to save that. Yeah. Yeah, I will. I forgot we, we got Curia Crystals. Yeah, we unfortunately don't have the uh, Curia spell yet. Um, that's a silver spell, and we haven't been able to switch to silver yet. Oh, uh, this move. <laughs> it's so gross. What's a poisonous bile? Yeah. Ugh. You. Everyone but Vice is poisoned now. It's okay. We'll, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll make... Yeah. That's interesting. So technically speaking, if you raise your bar high enough, you could Cutlass Fury and Tackle in one round. I'm, yeah. I mean, technically that's true. Not really necessary at this point, um, but it is technically something we could do. Let's yep. try this. Um, it is a good strategy against some bosses. Yeah, here's the silver seal. We see there's six on this one. That's the first time we've seen that seal. Um, 
Yeah. There are some bosses in this game where you're going to want to defend until you can really unleash. So building the spirit gauge while staying defensive is going to be a core strategy. Four digit damage. Good job. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Yeah. So we'll actually be doing some of that with a optional set of bosses. Mm-hmm. Yep. Quite a few optional bosses have that as your basic strategy. It's true. Yeah, we saw ice attack there, so that was a little more effective against um, the party members using red. Go ahead and use that. He's his health is fine. He's fine. Yeah, Drachma is pretty sturdy. He's so angry because we didn't find the mace hand. That's right. Take that. <laughs> He's, this dude even has like bones inside of him. He's a very hungry ice blob, ice poison blob man. It's true. Definitely tracks. All right. Do that. He needs people. We'll go ahead and use Curia on Drachma. Tackle with Drachma. Uh, let's try this. No more poison. The Curia crystals are pretty cheap, too. Yeah, 30... definitely good to keep a supply of Curia crystals. Yeah, for sure. You just 30 gold? Yeah, each. 30 gold, I think. Yeah, that's not bad. Take that. Take that. Right. And we even picked up some uh, while we were running down here because we only, we only bought like five. There so. we go. The music change. The triumphant music has begun. Indeed. <laughs> uh, we can get her focus. We'll do spirit charge with him. Charge up round and then another unleash. Yep. Keep it on the pressure. That's right. Yeah, this is a little bit of uh, an example. There's a few of them in this game of uh, an attrition uh, type boss. So he doesn't do an enormous amount of damage, but he can wear you down with a poison. And, you know, at pretty much every round, I think he's using a hit all unless he's just doing his regular attack. Oh, no. Advice is at critical health. So we've got the uh, desperate music going now. Right. It really is one of my favorite aspects of this game that that's something you can do or something that happens with the music, the dynamic music changes. Yeah, it's the only it's the only RPG I can think of that does this actually. At least noticeably. <laughs> yeah. I can't think of another one. Um there is somewhere the music oh. will change when you're underwater. It's more of a like action adventure type thing though. Yeah. That makes sense. Some locational. Always, yeah. Yeah, I always appreciate dynamic. Get him? Yep. Yep. And I was going to cut this fury him. Oh, well. Drachma's got this. We won! We won! He sure does. We did win, Aika. <laughs> Congratulations. Two magic EXP for that one. Yeah. Level 10. Fantastic. Ah, seeds. The Dial Seed. I believe that's a permanent stat increase. Mm -hmm. Take a look here. Of course, you want to be very uh, strategic about where you use your seeds yep, and that... use them all on vice. <laughs> that's exactly right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, this this is one of those games where those permanent stat boosts aren't the biggest deal in the world. Um, but generally speaking, Vice is going to be... Oh, hold up there. Hold up there. So when you go up that ladder, uh, we are going to be breaking into the Colosseum. Um, oh, yeah, good point. So I'm going to recommend we go back and save before we do that. Just in case things don't go well. 
Um, and heal up, obviously, yeah. And you'll notice, uh, I don't believe status effects persist outside of battle in this game. I don't think so, no. Yeah, so I, I believe somebody at least was poisoned uh, when we ended that battle. Uh, no, actually, when he did that poison spile, nobody was poisoned by it. Oh, okay. So we all were right. all clear before the end of the fight, but I, I do believe that doesn't roll over either. So Yeah, I don't believe this game does that. I, I believe you you will lose your status effects outside of battle. Right. All right. So now it is time to break in and rescue Captain Dad and everybody else. Yep. Okay, and Executioner is going to be the boss we're fighting here. Let's do it. Here we go. Are you not entertained? And now we present the executions of the notorious air pirate Dine and his treacherous band of blue rogues. Their crimes include attacking Imperial airships and stealing precious cargo. The price of stealing from Valua is high, and Dine and his pitiful band will pay with their heads. There's Marco. Marco! Snot he boy. is here to help. Yeah, looks like he gave up after all. I knew it. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Don't mind me. Just flying kick, you know. <laughs> Vice. Like, not even clear what he does. He just knocks him down. Running tackle. Hurry, right. run for the opening in the floor. He's been watching Drachma's fighting style. Tackle! Fair enough. Hi, everyone. I missed you guys. We're here to rescue you. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Let's go on an adventure. Ooh, he's not pleased. Well, how very bold of you. You have deprived the audience from witnessing the deaths of a notorious band of air pirates. Now they will witness your execution. <laughs> I don't know why you're all upset. The audience already got to watch us free our friends and trash your guards. Now they get to watch us beat the snot out of you. What more could they want? By the way, the name's Vice. <laughs> I'm the protagonist. This must introduce. All must right. introduce. All right, he's got caster buddies. Now, I believe, yeah, so they are probably going to anchor him. Uh, yeah, everyone here is yellow. The only element we have that is effective against yellow is blue currently. So it may be a good idea to run blue on your attackers here. And we don't have the capability of running yellow, uh, but red or purple um, are probably going to be the best we can do uh, in order to minimize damage on support. Um, so we may want to run red or purple on Ica and blue on Drachma or Vice or both. I can handle that. His blade will finally match his opening cutscene. Right? Finally. Alright, I should uh I should knock these guys out first. You said red on her? Yeah, um Double check this chart here. Yeah, red or purple will work. Red is fine. Ooh. And yeah, get some Incrim going and such. Alright, we'll give Incrim to Drachma first. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to switch him over. Oh well. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, he's still red, but we can see kind of the damage difference. Yeah. Be about half. Uh oh. Thump. Ow. Oak. Her <laughs> face. No. Powered up. Well, that's just rude. Dandy. Yeah, we, I believe we currently lack the ability to eliminate buffs from enemies. 
still did 300 damage. Oh, but he's Ingram'd, that's why. Yeah. Uh, okay. With blue, he will probably do quite a lot. Yeah. Both of our attackers. Him too. Nope. Swap him. <laughs> yep. Thank you. Blue. Here we go. Move. Give me it's probably overkilled Ingram both, but it's fine. Why not? And then we just charge up and do a couple special attacks to finish him off, right? That's right. Pretty sure that's wasted. I don't think you can double Ingram somebody. Yeah. Yep. It's... Tackle! Now you're stealing my moves? Ooh, oh! Man. I could down. Oh, First that... Time we've seen somebody go down like that. That does a lot of damage. Yep. All right, well... In kind of a desperate situation here, huh? We sure are. I'm going to get him up first. And then we'll use him for the Rizalem box. We get to see Rizalem. Was not wanting to use that so early in the game. That's fine. He is back! Oh, yeah, that's the other thing about Rizalem is 100% uh, heal, which is really nice. Yeah, I don't believe... I think Ryzen heals you to 50%. Mm-hmm. Which is still better than your standard Phoenix Down in, in Final Fantasy, where you have, like, 5% of your HP or something. Right. Alright, we're gonna yeah. use... And the other cool thing is we can run defense with Drachma by using Spirit Charge. Yeah, that's true. And it will charge the gauge up. So I'm going to recommend we do that, given his damage output. Angry. We are dealing with kind of the flip side of elemental, uh, because yellow is particularly effective against blue. Oh, yeah, they kind of hit each other pretty hard. Yep. Rude. He's a very rude man, isn't he? He, he is. <laughs> don't don't appreciate this. Yeah, okay. Really could use a bell if you wanted to here or just the sacri crystal. Yeah, I think I'd rather use the save the the build up a little bit here. Yep. See how much damage we do with tackle. Taste of his own medicine. I know, right? <laughs> Drachma's like, this is how you tackle. Right. The executioner's tackle hits in a line, and tackle from Drachma hits one enemy. Right. Um, but I believe. Ah, yellow spell. I'm actually not sure which one does more damage here. I need them to quit standing in a line. <laughs> but I can't yeah, move that's, them, so... That's one of the interesting things about this game is uh, your position does matter, but there's not a lot you can do to change it. Right. So you kind of just have to deal with it. Um... It's probably a good thing they're both Ingram'd. I thought it might have been overkill, but now I'm, I'm not convinced... Yeah, so I believe Spirit Charge is actually charging two, not three. Okay. So I believe uh, Drachma's Spirit, not uh, Spirit that, but the other one is uh, one currently. There we go. We got him. We finished them off. Yes, we did. We did, Drachma. Congrats. Another level. Hey, some good drops. I believe the Electri box, you can use Electri more than once from it. Uh, yes, I believe most boxes you can use more than once. The hero! Look at all the confetti! They're so they get, happy. Were they going to throw confetti after executing the air pirates? I mean, probably. All right. Now we got to escape from Valua. 
So we head south. Where did this door come from? <laughs> What do you All have right. to say, Marco? Hey, you really did it. You rescued your friends. I can't believe it. You really are something. Marco, what are you doing here? I told you before, right? I live here. I know everything about these sewers. Are you the reason there's holes in the floor? This wall was built with a secret door. Took your friends into the secret room just behind me. Marco, just off in the corner, like, hey, hey, hey I'm going to punch holes in the floor. Maybe people will fall through. <laughs> I mean, All right. He, he might. That sounds like something he might do. Always up to mischief, Marco. <laughs> mischief, Marco. Oh, hey, a chest. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, we just used a bunch of those. There should be another chest somewhere about. Ah. Yeah. Ah, drop. excellent. Those are good, too. All right. And then we can talk with everybody here. Dying is going to be the important one. Some random dude. Uh, you know, it just counts with Captain Dad. Captain Dad. Captain Dad, what you got? <laughs> you were a little late, Vice. If you were ready later, I'd be a whole head shorter right now. Captain Dad with the dad jokes. That's right. Vice, I always knew you were tough, but breaking into a public execution and freeing all of us? Now, I think you're crazy, too. <laughs> What can I say? I'm not ready to take over as head of the Dine family just yet. The Dine family. Right, so is Dine his last name? Vice Dine. What is Dine's first name? Maybe it's Captain. <laughs> I thought your name was Captain. That's right. But like, for real though, like if Dine is their last name... It leads credence to my headcanon that the pirate's grave is from some ancestor. Anyway. That's wait, true. Wait a minute. Where's Fina? Fina? When they captured us from the pirate isle, they took her somewhere else. I overheard some soldiers taking... Taking... Talking about her. Sounded like she was taken to the value in Imperial Palace. <gasps> what? Why was she taken to the palace? It appears that the Empress herself wanted to meet Fina. Got a bad bad feeling. We've got a feeling that there's more to that girl than meets the eye. She knows something important enough that to have value after her. we got a bad feeling about this. That's um, right. Dina. <laughs> Vice, what do you want to do? Oh, Let's just stay low. To... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> time to swashbuckle. <laughs> We've already made a mess. Might as well keep going, right? Keep it going. Of course, we have to go see Fina. The guards are scattered. The whole island is in chaos. Hmm. It'll be dangerous, but it looks like now is our best chance to strike. Here, take this with you, Vice. It's a little early to be giving this to you, but considering our circumstances, I'll make an exception. Wow, it's your yellow moonstone. Thanks, Dad. If you use it with your weapons, they'll take on the properties of lightning. That would have been really helpful right. earlier. <laughs> I will take all the air pirate. Oh, excuse me, that's Drachma. I will take all the air pirates back to the Little Jack. We'll be waiting for you. you. Need to be a little. You need to be at the Little Jack when they open the gates. Uh -huh. I know. When the gates open, it's our only chance to escape. Huh. First, you'll want to go to the Upper City. You might be able to sneak aboard a rail car that's on its way to the palace. I see. Upper City, huh? Marco, how do I get to Upper City from here? Um, if you go down to the tunnel over there, you'll reach Upper City. But there are tons of guards in the Upper City. You shouldn't go. It's too dangerous. I'm ready for anything. In the midst of the storm, I can see one path that will get us to Valua. I've got to try. Let's go, Ika. we got to save Fina. You say out of Valua and not into... You know what? I it's fine. Drachma, no! Alright, now we can use five of the six elements which is excellent. Yep. That reading's mm -hmm. overrated anyway, right? Who cares about reading? <laughs> yeah, you you may have noticed in our last uh recording there were some there was some creative license took with some of the words. Um, what can <laughs> I, I say? It? 
the voice acting uh, in this game is just a little, uh, um, you know, it does its own thing, right? I was very tired. Okay, give me a break. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Although it was always, you know, you got the point across. <laughs> got the gist. Yeah, you get the gist of what's uh, happening, sort of. Right. And we see with Drachma out of the party, our spirit gauge is a little bit lower now. Back down to two party members. Do not want to use green. Uh, or, yeah. Not blue, excuse me. I don't need to use blue. Yeah. Yes. Yellow does okay on green. You could some start on him. Yeah. Why not? Start learning those electric spells. I feel so much weaker. <laughs> Your Hakma come back. Uh-oh. Oh, I forgot that it's a group haste. Uh, yep. No. <laughs> Everybody's fast now. I don't need that drama in my life. <laughs> no. oh, looking no. rather grim. It, it is. It is, in fact, looking grim enough to warrant <laughs> this. Yikes. Oh, yeah. Look, take that, jerk. <laughs> Ika, what? you better survive. <laughs> Weiss has some interesting weapons. Uh, I quite like the variation on his swords. Yeah, I agree. He definitely gets the most variety. He does. There we go. Thank you so much. She will survive. She will survive. Do we know um, what percentage of the HP, their HP, a poison does? Is it like a 10%? I don't... I don't know. Let's see, she's... Yeah, looks like about 10%. Yeah. Maybe a little less. I'm so furious. With cutlasses. Throw them everywhere. <laughs> oh, it's actually a little over 10%. Math. This is not my friend. <laughs> Okay, now I believe this is pretty much a straight shot here. Yeah, then we'll get to Up. see just how different the upper city is from the lower city. Yes, indeed. Once we are done killing all of the monsters. Yeah, man, watch this uh, mind stealer finally drop that flail. <laughs> yeah, the mace hand. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. That would be funny. <laughs> No quicker from you. Get out of here. Yep. Get out of here. Yeah, quicker from that one, though. Yeah. Because <laughs> they hate me. Because <laughs> they got to go fast. It's because I couldn't cast Alpha Storm at the beginning of the fight. Oh, you little punk. Quickly running away. Coward. <laughs> Jeebus. There we go. That was easy. Crystally. Fantastic. Yeah, it's good to get um, various magics, uh, various elements, I think, early on, but it is very good, especially at this stage of the game, to get as many of the support spells as you can. Right. Um, the green is great for the healing spells. Red, you, you're you going to want Incrim. Uh, blue has Quika, as we've seen, which is very good. Uh, yellow... Yellow, I believe, has something. 
Oh no, yellow has uh, debuffs. So Drone and Dronos, um, which is the opposite of Ankrum, and then some. So. Oh. Uh, if you are hit by Drilm, um, that effect will lower all stats uh, by 25%. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's a rough status effect to get hit with. Yeah, yeah you definitely want to block or not get hit by Drillness uh, if you can avoid it. Right. But it is a good, very good idea to learn Ingram and Quika at this stage of the game. They're very useful, not only on foot, but when you're on your ship. Yeah, actually, especially on the ship. Yep. Getting some EXP at least. Yeah. Blop, blop, blop. Blop, 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 blop. Warp, 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 warp. But yeah, uh, purple also, um, its non attack spells are status effects. Like um, slow? So, yeah, uh, silence and oh, silence. Oh, yeah, yeah. Silence and panica are in purple. My two least favorite status elements in any RPG. Mm hmm. Wait, Vice. Marco? Marco, you followed us. What's wrong? Vice, don't go, please. Marco sad. My, my mother and, and father were both killed by Valuant soldiers while they were trying to escape from the city. There's no way out. Trying to get through the Grand Fortress? It's impossible. No one has ever escaped from Valua. You're gonna die this time. I just know it. Your parents. I'm, I'm sorry to hear that, Marco. But I have to go. I don't have a choice. And every time I hear the word impossible, it makes me want to prove everyone wrong. A long time ago, a handful of sailors took a small boat out into the uncharted skies. They had no idea what they would find. Monsters? A maelstrom? The end of the world? It was because these sailors challenged the unknown that new lands were discovered. Into the skies of Arcadia. Yeah. Yeah. If we challenge ourselves and never give up, our own horizons will broaden, in our hearts and in our minds. I need to push myself every day. I have to know what I can accomplish. I never give up, and so far, nothing has ever stopped me. But, but, Vice, don't worry about me. I believe that we'll make it out. I'll find a way. That's what keeps me going. I'm going to prove that it's not impossible to escape. Impossible is just a word to let people feel good about themselves when they quit. Oh boy. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Bit of a perfectionist there, Vice. Meh, maybe. <laughs> Vice, do you think I could ever be a sailor? If I could ever sail the skies? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> of course. You've got what it takes. I'll be waiting for you out there. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, goody. Meanwhile, Lord Gaussian brings good news, Your Majesty. Indeed, I do, Your Highness. I am sure you will be pleased. As you have requested, my forces have captured a Sylvite. Theodora. The ruler of the Value and Empire. Ah, excellent work, Gaussian. You have yet to fail me. So, this is what a Sylvite looks like. Such a beautiful girl. Her clothes are interesting. A nice specimen. Today, we have taken another step closer to our main objective. Soon, the value and empire shall rule the world. <laughs> you seem sad, young one. Why do you not rejoice with us? You shall witness our finest hour. 
you have the knowledge that we seek. You can assist us. <laughs> All who oppose us shall fail and fall, too. Their <laughs> islands will be reduced to ash and dust. Anyone who stands in our way will be destroyed. And you, young one, shall help us. Prince of Valua, Enrique. Mother. Mother, ruling the world by force is not something I am sure I approve of. Mother. An empire. Yes. Mother. An empire that does not listen to the plight of its people is destined to fall. Enrique, you still have much to learn. You cannot walk the path of an emperor and concern yourself with the petty worries of the people. Look at her dress. It is gigantic. It is. And it doesn't help that she's got these giant plumes coming out of the back. Yeah, like, look like wings and all oh, of that. Right. But mother... Mother! <laughs> now, now, Enrique, I am building an empire for you. Since you shall inherit the throne when I pass on, you should pay more attention. Well, then, young lady, I know that there are six moon crystals and that they have to be scattered all over the world. I also know that he who controls the moon crystals controls the weapons of mass destruction. I believe you people refer them as Gigas. When the Gigas are ours, we shall rule the world. Now, young lady, you will tell me where to find the moon crystals. I will die before I tell you. What did you say? <laughs> you do not understand how powerful the Gigas really are. The Gigas were great weapons of destruction built by the old world. They are more powerful than you can imagine. And that is precisely why Valua must obtain these weapons. <laughs> That's a good Ooh, laugh. That's a good an laugh. laugh right there. I like that one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Since we are the most powerful empire, we shall have full control over them. And once we have them, we shall rule the world as father and son. Oh. No, humans must never control the moon crystals and the Gigas ever again. Power-hungry dictators like you are the reason humans must never control them. You dare insult me, the Empress of the Great Value and Empire, in my own palace? <laughs> Off with her head! Kill her, kill her, kill the little wench! Off with her head! Oh, there you go. Mother, oh think about what you are saying. You cannot kill her, she's done nothing wrong. Are you saying that this girl is innocent, Enrique, even after she insulted me so? Kill her! Kill her now! Insulting the Empress, a capital crime. Yep. The worst. Mm hmm. Please, you must believe me, the power of the Gigas is not to be underestimated. Silence, wench! You shall pay for your insolence. Thump. Ow. Oh! Lord Gaussian, I bring urgent news. Someone has broken into the Colosseum and has freed the brood rogues. What? I'm on my way. Take the girl to the ship and bring her to the Grand Fortress immediately. Yes, Lord Gaussian. Your Majesty, I request permission to deploy the Armada. I will take the girl with me and she will guide me to the Moon Crystals. Very well, then. Use the power of the armada and bring the crystals to me. Of course, your majesty. However, I have but one humble request. I would like to request that a new addition be made to our highest-ranking officers. I would like to recommend my vice-captain, Ramirez, for the position. Ooh. Do as you wish. In return, I want you to give me your word that you'll bring me those crystals. As you wish, your majesty. You heard the admiral. Get up. Ramirez? So, seems like that name is familiar to her. Maybe it was Rami from the earlier cutscene. Hmm. Could be. Could they be the same person? Possibly. Upper city value, uh, here we are. Posh. This is value as upper city. Only those of wealthy stature or born of noble blood live here, of course. Of it's course. a much harder life here in the upper city than you think. There are so many plays, so many parties, 
I'm a very busy person. Yeah, it's real rough life. Let's see, we got a save point here. There is one person that we should talk to just for the flavor. Yeah, I agree. Um, what Upper City's about. <laughs> it's the kid, right? Yeah, I believe I saw him. Yeah, yeah this one. <laughs> Do the rare. I should. I'm not going to do that. That was funny, though. <laughs> My mommy told me that people in Lower City rarely get to eat white bread. But that's stupid. If they can't eat bread, why don't they just eat cake? <laughs> there we go. <sighs> Little literary reference um, for anyone familiar. Um, you know, just to kind of demonstrate the disparity between Upper and Lower City here. Mm hmm. Dear sweet naive child. Yep. Let them eat cake. Wow. Wow. Vice, that huge vehicle over there must be the rail car. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I think you're right, Ika. Looks like it can only ride on those rails. I guess it would be hard to steal. Let me get a closer look. Magic eye patch. Go. <laughs> oh. Oh. Fina. What are you talking about? I thought Fina was supposed to be at the palace. That's what I thought. But it looks like that rail car is going to Grand Fortress. If she gets taken to the fortress, we'll never be able to get her out. We have to move now. Believed in the power of the cards. <laughs> Board the train! Choo choo! Sounds like the engines are starting. We'll never get down there in time. Vice, what should we do? The only thing we can do try to take over the train. <laughs> they really did come in here with no plan at all. We've got to jump onto the roof. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what? Isn't there a plan B? There wasn't even a plan A. <laughs> They're just doing things. Come on, Ika. It'll be fine. This shouldn't be too... This shouldn't be too tough. Proceeds to just tumble off the back of the train because it's moving way faster than it... Right, meet it to the train. Doodly do. Of course, we're on the very end. Of course, <laughs> Fina should be at the front of the rail car. Let's go. <clears throat> Forward. Lord Gaussian, we've just received a message from Central Station in Upper City. They've spotted some air pirates snooping around the rail cars. Mm. What? <laughs> and the air pirates who escaped the execution, are they still free? Yes, Lord Gaussian, my humblest apologies. It matters not. I'll summon the city guards and sweep all of the rail cars. We'll find them. That won't be necessary. We know where they are heading. They are going to try and rescue the girl. <clears throat> What's the status of the Grand Fortress gates? They're currently open, sire. They aren't scheduled to close for a while. Close the gates immediately. Place all ships in the bay on full alert. Dispatch the Imperial rail car immediately. I shall deal with these pirates myself. Yes, Lord Gassian. Gotta give Galcian credit. He's very level-headed. He's got very strategic thinking what he's trying to do. It's true. He's a very formidable individual. Some soldiers. I believe all value in soldiers are yellow. Yep. Just double up for now. Uh, as we're making our way, uh, we did hear the first mention of uh, Gigas earlier, uh, which are apparently very destructive uh, entities. 
uh, in this world that Fina is aware of and Empress Theodora and no doubt Gaussian uh, are aware of as well. Yeah, weapons of mass destruction is what they were claimed as. Mm-hmm. So and... Valua has their sights set on, um, you know, more power, of course. Listen, nobody said that the villains were original. <laughs> um, but I do find it interesting that each of the all these gigas are associated with different moonstones. So there are six gigas that we are aware of, though we don't know what they look like or anything at this point. Yep. Who's that? Vice, there's much there's something about this guy. I'm not sure what it is, but I don't think we can take him. <laughs> yeah, and he looks really mad too. <laughs> Ika, here's the plan. Run! We have to get Fina before he catches us. And so, uh, that is up. not a suggestion. That is a command. Yeah, if he catches you, it is game over. I don't even recall if there's a battle, but you cannot defeat him right now. Uh, it is a battle, but I believe it is the same stats as when you fight him much later in the game. Yeah, so, you know, spoilers, you fight him later in the game. Uh, I know that's very shocking. Um, but yeah, yeah, I mean, you will absolutely get annihilated by him. So the only choice you have is run. Kind of like with uh, Fallen Order. If anybody's played Jedi Fallen Order. Uh, with Vader <laughs> Vader encounter spoilers I guess yeah spoilers for Fallen Order there but <laughs> yeah there is and it happens in a lot of games though right like there's there's this point where just like hey uh, you might want to run like <laughs> that sounds right to me like they look pretty intimidating yeah I, I do legitimately apologize if it, that is a spoiler the game's been out long enough I feel like everybody should know at least about the Vader encounter, whether or not they know where that's at or not is separate. Yeah, yeah it, it Fallen Order has been out for a while. I will try to reframe it in the future. I'm sorry. <laughs> Stay uh, away from me. You're too close. Get out of here. As I say of the guy who's like four cars behind me. But he's so intimidating. He is so intimidating. He's spoopy. <laughs> this spoopy dude very much so ow bonk he cast bonk he did <laughs> as our dear friend says he cast bonkins he casted bonkins on you <laughs> oh boy That was just unnecessary. Yeah. They're little like sticks. Like batons of some kind. Yeah, I you know, Dark I've been sticks. interested in these cuz like so bad. These are armored military. Mm -hmm. And their weapon of choice is a baton. Yep. Cuz they're guards. They have batons. I mean, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> These guys have swords, though. Yeah. Or lance. Those look like small lances, actually. Yeah, I think lance is more accurate. That's not my sword. <laughs> nice. It is the right color, though. Who? Yeah, I know. Who are you? Sorry, we took so long, Fina. We're here to get you out. Insolent pests. You'll have to get past us first. Bring it on. Ya bumpkin. We got a boss here. Why Fina did Fina just pass it? You know what? It's falls fine. Falls over, yeah. So it is recommended, and I believe we're in... Because Vice has low health there, but yeah, is recommended to Incrum Vice so you can Cutlass Fury them. Because yeah, we don't have quite enough currently. 
Uh-oh. Well, it's a good thing I wasn't gonna attack him anyway. Yep. All right. Yeah, use one at a time. Uh, I believe they cannot revive each other, so if you focus one down, you should be good. Oh, wait. I forgot. I needed to... Incrim a frame. Oh. Yep. And Incrim is relatively expensive as far as SP goes for this point of the game, but... 25% attack boost is uh, very much worth it. Right. Well, and a good defense boost, too. Mm hmm Which will be helpful with this shenanigans. Yeah, so... Ow. Uh, if, if you keep level... I believe at level 5, uh, red gets Incremus, which uh, is the same thing, but it's on the entire party. Yeah. Getting Quicka and Incremus are two great spells to get. Time for some counterattack here, it looks like. Yeah. Rude. Can I counterattack his counterattack? Malevolent poke. Nah, not in this game. <laughs> Anyone listening that's um, played Disgaea will recognize ridiculously long counterattack chains. Oh, really? That's a thing in disguise? Yep. You counter, 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 counter. <laughs> Yo, dog, I heard you like counters. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh, no. It gets, uh, it gets to the point of absurdity, but that's sort of the point of Disgaea. That's true. Disgaea does have the absurdist vibe. Mm-hmm. But it has a surprisingly good story. Uh, maybe we'll play Disgaea uh, at some point. Exactly. Sounds good to me. Yeah. yeah. We're talking about a uh, number of games here, so, you know, I imagine uh, if there are any particular games uh, you guys want to see. Um, you know, we're doing a lot of JRPGs, uh, but we're not exclusively limited to that. Um, we played the Souls games, um, so those are ones we might do some playthroughs. Yep. Might be some um, um, Remnant a Healer. As the DLC coming out, so we might be playing that for uh, some recorded videos for you guys as well. So yeah, well, what what day was that supposed to come out? I believe it comes out in a couple of days. So I believe the seventeenth of November. Okay, is coming out at the same time as Nintendo's Super Mario RPG remake. Right, which would be lots of fun to to play through as well. Yes. So many good options. Yeah, so Super Mario RPG has a special place in my heart because that is, is the first ready? JRPG I played. And so it made me fall in love with the genre. Indeed. I'm very glad it's getting a remake. I'm very More excited. More levels. Level oh, up. Oh, that was a lot of droplets. And quick I learned. Very good. Mm-hmm. I'm so glad you're safe, Fina. We were worried about you. Nice. Aika, how did you... Why? Why do you think? We're here to save you. You mean you did all this just for me? Oh, Fina, we're friends. We weren't going to let them take you from us. You're mine. <laughs> Thank you so much. Honestly, I, I was so scared. I was all alone. I was afraid they were going to hurt me. Like that one jerk who hit me in the back of the head. <laughs> oh, that did you. hurt you. <laughs> oh, you're right. I'm, I'm so grateful. Everything's okay now, Fina. Now, let's get out of here. <laughs> I can't allow that. What? He found us. I mean, it's not like you had anywhere to hide. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I am Gaussian, Lord of the Imperial Armada. You have caused us a great deal of trouble, boy. What's your name? I'm Vice of the Blue Rogues. I just thought you were the guy that cleaned the rail cars. 
Ah, uh -huh. so you are the one who made a fool out of Alfonso. That girl is worth nothing to you, air pirates. Hand her over to me. Alfonso made a fool of himself. I'm just sure, going to say that. He sure did. <laughs> like, I mean, we contributed, but he did it all on his own for the most part. Yeah, I mean, we gave him a sound beating, but he was a fool regardless. Right. I guarantee that your lives, as well as that of the girl, will be spared. Is it a deal? <laughs> that sounds fair. <laughs> Never. Buckling. <laughs> I don't know what you want with her. But you valuance, whatever it is, it can't be good. Oh boy. Do you honestly think that after attacking the value in Armada, you'll be able to fly the skies freely? We're air pirates. We don't need your permission for anything. If we see something we want, we take it. And right now, I'm taking this girl. <laughs> That's very disappointing. I'm afraid you leave me no choice. I must destroy you. Bring it. Bring it. Bet you won't. The Little Jack. Stop blowing holes in my train. That's some very precise cannon fire right there. Look at that. Must have been how Captain he, Dad. How did he aim that? <laughs> very, very carefully. Well, he's mm -hmm. got that harpoon at the front now, even though that's clearly not what he used. Indeed. There is the harpoon, though. Yep, he did manage to get that installed. Thumbs up, bro. I'm not your bro. <laughs> All right. You were late, Vice. We decided to come get you from the looks of it. We were just in time. That's true. Fina, are you alright? Yes, thank you very much. I'm very grateful that you've gone through so much trouble to rescue me. <laughs> Relax, Fina. We're all... We're all okay right now. Save the mushy stuff for later. She's right. We can all be thankful after we've gotten out of Valua. Captain Emergency! We're there closing the gates! Who made that man a gunner? <laughs> I know. Galsian I say <laughs> immediately, not like with dramatic time. Anyway. <laughs> They're big gates, maybe. I don't know. I mean, it takes time for the message to get relayed. Yeah, that's true. It's not like they have phones. You can't <laughs> just text the guards, hey, close the gates. Shoot the guards a text, have them close the gate. Right. <laughs> Mark it as urgent so they'll see it. Facebook message them. Yeah. And then put in a priority one request. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, no no case, no gate closes. No gate closes. <laughs> all right. If the gate closes, we're all dead. to Ooh, fight boy. the value and ships. Wonder attack! Value and ships dead ahead! They're blocking the entrance. We've got to act fast. We need to take out that blockade. Looks like I'm going to be able to test out the harpoon cannon earlier than I thought. All hands to battle stations. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again. <laughs> All right, so this um, this is a fight against a value and cruiser here, and it's going to be the tutorial for using the harpoon cannon, which is the first uh, special weapon we have for a ship uh, in battle here. All right. And the harpoon cannon takes 15 uh, spirit points, so if we want to use it, we probably are going to need to build up uh, focus um, a little rink -dink ship. Just a, kind of a patrol cruiser type thing here. No. Everything hits so hard. Let's see what our standard cannon does. Decent. That harpoon cannon will take him out, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, sub cannons. Yeah, so sub cannons, I believe, are the first of the secondary cannon class. And they fire. I'm not Twice. sure that. Yeah, I'm not sure it's doing that. 
uh, this time. But yeah, the sub cannon will fire. Basically, you can set um, secondary cannons to fire multiple turns in a row. Sub cannon may just be a main cannon. Boy, the harpoon cannon takes a lot of spirit points to fire. Also, you can only fire when the target's in the right place. So, attack the enemy with your normal cannons and build up your spirit. And when the time is right, unleash the harpoon cannon. Alright, so you see the yellow, um, kind of the harpoon looking uh, things uh, up on the. What is that even called at the top there? I don't know, just the. the Battle guy. grid, I guess? Yeah, the grid up at the top. That's the word I was looking for. Um, so you can only fire the harpoon cannon. Uh, during those turns, you can't just fire at any time. It has the to cube. line up properly because it's mounted on the front of the ship. You have to be able to align it. Stop! <laughs> that was a lot of damage. Yes, it was. It's because I wasn't invading like I should have been. Like a doofus. <laughs> so that's six. What do we build up here? Probably be just shy. In order to use the harpoon can after you've built up enough spirit points, you need to use the S cannon command. But regardless of your spirit level, you won't be able to use the S cannon command unless you have a clear shot at your enemy. You only use the S cannon command on turns with special marker on top of the call. Yeah, okay, we got it. Yeah, this is, okay, so this is the same amount of points, so we need to stop firing the cannon if we're going to have a chance. Well, to so I, I incrimmed last turn is part of the okay. problem. Okay. Um, so that should, we should be over, uh, should be better. that guard and take a little less damage from there. That's better. Stop it with your sub cannon subterfuge. <laughs> Enjoy the how broadside is kind of the normal um, attacking mode for most of these ships. Yeah. There's not a lot of head-on, which is pretty normal for kind of your naval combat here. Ships right. of the line. <clears throat> oh. Yep, Rude. not enough build-up. So. Alright, well, we'll just do this then. Screw it. <laughs> yeah, so we'll take this turn to build it up, and then use the harpoon cannon next turn. Yeah, harpoon cannon's going to do a ton of damage anyway. Yeah, far more than what its current health is. Be a satisfying hit, though. Definitely want to pull off that, uh, this is our first look at a special weapon. Which are yeah. very satisfying to use in ship combat. Man, um, maybe it's just because it's been so long, but I do not remember ships hitting as hard as they have been. Yeah, we haven't had a lot of chance to upgrade the little jack with um, you know, cannons, and you can equip um, accessories on ships to up That's their true. armor. Like armor take and stuff, a lot yeah. Damage. Yeah. As well as speed and things like that, so we will definitely be getting more into it, that's for sure. There we go. That's what now we're we looking have for. Way more than enough here. <laughs> I'm gonna actually have her cast that. There we go. Um Yeah, I would recommend either guard, focus, or heal, so we don't risk killing it before we can fire the harpoon cannon here. chunk. Glad they're holding the gate open as we have our battle here. Yeah, how convenient, right? Mm-hmm. They're very considerate villains. <laughs> it's 
so thoughtful. Uh-huh. <laughs> we may twirl our mustaches, but we're not savages. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he missed. Perfect. What do you, t what do you take us for, barbarians? This harpoon is obnoxious, dude. Twelve thousand. <laughs> so ridiculous. Oh man. Looks like that was the last of them. Now we just need to get through that gate. Get out of here. I think we have to fight the gate too, actually. Maybe mm, not. I don't think we have to fight the gate. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Vice, it's closing. Hurry. Come on. Come on, little Jack. Just use Quicka. It's fine. <laughs> of course. Use the boost to get through. Oh, he did. There it goes. Zoom. Boy, I just got that paint job done. <laughs> Raise the side there. Cut chunk. Ba ba da ba. Woohoo! We did it. Yay! All right. I knew you could do advice. You're the greatest. Got us through there by the skin of our teeth. You had me worried there for a second. We can finally say goodbye to Valua. All right, let's go back home to Pirate Isle. All right. All right. But yeah, uh, we managed to get a harpoon cannon fire off. Uh, we had a little bit of a technical issue. About how much did we end up doing with that weapon? Uh, over 12,000. Yeah, so we crunched them. They got crunched really bad. <laughs> mm hmm. And back to Pirate Isle we go. Gaussian is not a happy camper, though. No. But screw that guy. Pretty Ice, much. Ica, Captain Drachma. I just wanted to tell you how much I. <sighs> Don't worry about it. The value ones went. Went through a lot of trouble to capture you. We just like making them mad. <laughs> Vice is just kidding, Fina. You're our friend now. But while we're here, or while we were there, I didn't want to grab. I did want to grab some more loot. Wow. What, Ika? You wanted to stay in Valua? We barely made it out of there. Hey, it's an air pirate's duty to liberate any treasure that can help the needy. And I'm very needy. <laughs> um. Fina, there's something I want to ask you. What is this mission that you're on? What are you looking for? Why is the Value and Empire after you? We might be able to help. All right, I'll tell you. I am a Sylvite, a descendant of the Silver Civilization. Silver Civilization? What? Hundreds of generations ago, the world's population was divided into six civilizations. Lore time. One existed under each of the moons in the sky. Green, red, blue, purple, yellow, and silver. Each civilization harnessed the power of its moon by learning how to use moonstones as a source of energy. The entire world went through a technological revolution, but technology advanced faster than the people wielding it. The leaders of each of the civilizations became corrupt, and their ambition led them to war. They used their technology to create weapons. These weapons were called Gigas. They were gigantic living weapons. They were capable of destroying whole islands. I've heard about these Gigas before. There's a giant and a dragon. But I thought those were all tales parents told their children. I never thought they were real. Oh, Ika, they're very real. When the ancient civilizations went to war, they unleashed the Gigas on each other. So many people died. Then something happened. The rains of destruction fell. 
No one knows exactly what caused it. Moonstones fell from each of the moons. They fell for what seemed like an eternity. Thousands of stones fell at a time, like a rainstorm. It was almost as if the moons wanted to make sure that their powers would never be misused again. Millions died in the rains. The stones battered the lands and leveled the cities. All of the ancient civilizations were destroyed. Only a few survivors remained. But even if the rains of destruction never happened, the Gigas would have destroyed the world anyway. Now there are people who are trying to reawaken the Gigas. You mean the value and empire? Yes, but to command the Gigas, it is necessary to find the moon crystals. A moon crystal is a highly concentrated form of moonstone. The original moon crystals used to control the Gigas are scattered throughout the world. Valua is searching for those crystals so they can reawaken the Gigas. And that's why the Valuan Empire kidnapped you, to find out where they were hidden. Yes, I was sent here to gather the crystals before the Valuans could find them and put them somewhere where they could never be used again. Vice, Ika, I know I've caused you enough trouble, but I have another favor to ask of you. I would like you to go with me, help me travel the world in search of the crystals. Please, without my ship, I can't do it, and if Valua gets the crystals, I don't even want to think about what would happen. Alright. What do you think is the right response here? Well, I could be snarky, but I'm pretty sure it's leave everything to us. <laughs> yes. Yeah, leave everything to us. We'll go in and find those crystals. <laughs> yeah, Vice and I. I guess this is such a, this is your chance to see what lies beyond the sunset. You're right, Aika. And when you're right, you're right. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> if you two were to come with me, I'd be so honored. What was that? <laughs> huh? Vice, what was that noise? Was that your stomach? Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. You can come out now. What kind of noises does Vice's stomach make? Who knows? Huh? What is that thing? Where did it come from? It's been a while, or it's been with me ever since I was a baby. It's from my homeland. It can change its shape. It's usually shaped like a bracelet around my arm. Uh, it's actually kind of cute. What's his name? His name is Cupel. I'm Cupel. Say hello to everyone. Cupel. It's so cute. I'm very pleased to meet you, Cupel. Well, Fina, we've got a long journey ahead of us. We'll do our best to help we get the crystals. Thank you. I'm so glad that you're helping me. Now the only problem left is Captain Dine. I wonder if he'll let us go. What are you worried about? Even if he does say no, we'll just go anyway. Yeah. Alright, once we finish getting everything ready, we'll leave from the underground port. Authority. <laughs> Fina right. has joined your party. And the Silver Moonstone. Now we can use all six elements. Indeed. So this is oh. sort of when the primary adventure begins. And yeah, we got a moonfish we can capture here. Okay. All right. And we should be able to locate uh, a new item called a cham here. Um, I'm going to have to double check where those are, but we're definitely going to want to get those. So to explain here, uh, Bina has joined our party. Cupel her pet uh, is her weapon. So she's unique in that she does not, you don't buy weapon upgrades for her. What you do is find items called chams. And when you feed chams to Cupel, it will change, uh, transform, and get more powerful. Um, so she relies on her familiar, um, and she's definitely kind of the caster of the group. Alrighty. I think we'll have to devolve. devolve. Investigate, Chams. <laughs> Next time. 
Yeah. Um, just one more note for anybody um, that's interested in the lore here. Um, we have had the first mention of the Reigns of Destruction. Um, that was within Fina's explanation of the world here. And uh, we're going to learn a little more about it, but let's just say, just for now, um, the Reigns of Destruction are connected to some other terms we've heard called the Old World and the New World. Um, so we currently live in the New World, uh, and as we learn more kind of about the history of what's going on, we're going to understand more about the rains uh, beyond kind of just the general summary there. Uh, right. But some more lore. The plot thickens. Mm hmm. Like a good stew. That's right. All right. Well, until then, we're going to sign off for now. But thanks for watching. And uh, hope you like what you see. If you do, please feel free to give us a like and subscribe. Uh, until next time, see you later. Enjoy. Bye bye now. Bye bye. Diddly diddly do 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 do. Thanks for watching.